In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a single crochet stitch into a foundation chain. This is typically one of the first steps you'll come across in a crochet pattern that works the single crochet stitch. One thing to note, I am referring to US terminology. In the UK, they call this a double crochet stitch, which is a different stitch for us here in the US, so it's important to make note of this. All of the terminology I use here at Just Be Crafty are in reference to US terms. When learning to crochet, my favorite hook size to start out with is either a five millimeter or a five and a half millimeter hook. Grab yourself some yarn. I like to use a medium four weight acrylic yarn in a light bright color. You can find out about a yarn's weight and fiber content on the back of its label. For today, I'm going to use my five and a half millimeter hook. To begin, we're going to start out with a slip knot and foundation chain. I have made separate tutorials on those skills, so you'll want to go back and watch those first before jumping into this tutorial. I show you step by step how to make a slip knot and then how to make a foundation chain. I also show you how to hold your hook in yarn and get a feel for controlling your yarn tension. We are going to begin by making our foundation chain. Make your foundation chain by chaining 20. As you're making your chain, I want to just highlight that the loop on your hook never counts as a chain. So that's important to note. So if a pattern says to chain 20, or like I'm telling you right now, you'll only be counting the chains that you've pulled off your hook and not the loop that's on your hook. Let's take a closer look at our foundation chain. You'll see the top of your chain almost looks like a braid, well, the bottom of the chain has little bumps or bars running down the middle of the chain. You can crochet into the top or bottom of your foundation chain, or sometimes a pattern will specify where to crochet into if it matters for the pattern. Today, we'll be crocheting into the top of our chain, which is what you'll typically do if a pattern does not specify where to crochet. To get started, you're going to want to get your hands into crochet position. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, be sure to watch my last video on how to make a foundation chain where I teach you how to do that. To make a single crochet stitch, we need to be in crochet position, and we're going to make our stitch into the second chain from our hook. So remember, the loop on our hook never counts as a chain, and we're going into that second chain from our hook. So we're gonna skip that first chain and go into the second one. Insert your hook into the chain, catching one strand of the chain. We're now going to yarn over, and we're going to draw up a loop through the chain. Now we're gonna yarn over and pull through both loops. And we've just made a single crochet stitch. So now, let's try that again. Go into the next chain, grab one strand of the chain, yarn over, draw up a loop. When you're here with two loops on your hook, be sure to pull your hook up a little bit with these loops and slide them up and down your hook a little bit. This helps make sure your stitch isn't too tight. You also don't want it to be too loose either, but just play around with it. You'll yarn over and then pull through both loops on your hook. Now let's try this again. Insert your hook into the next chain. Yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. As you're practicing the single crochet stitch, I want to remind you that it's okay for you to reposition your hands as you go and try not to tense up too much. I highly suggest you practice repositioning your hands into crochet position after every stitch. 
as this will help you with tension and just really getting a hang of crochet. I highly encourage you to keep working single crochet stitches into the rest of your foundation chains. And when you get to the end of the row, pull it out and start over again with a new foundation chain and practice single crocheting across the chain again. It's in repeating these processes that you'll learn and get comfortable with this fun new hobby. There you have it. You've learned how to make a single crochet stitch into a foundation chain. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please let me know by giving the video a thumbs up and share with a friend who's learning to crochet. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so you never miss a new tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.